Today in this episode, I answer the question which I've received lots of questions about. How do I stay tick-free in the outdoors? On trail, off trail, this is what I do. My personal preference is to take a two-prong approach. I treat my clothing and I also treat my skin. And I treat both of these with different products. For my skin, I use a product like Off, which features DEET. DEET is very important. For my clothing, I use permethrin. And let's talk about permethrin for just a minute here. In my opinion, permethrin is a very interesting product. It was originally developed by the United States military to protect soldiers from bugs, ticks, and so on. And what you need to know is that it is an insecticide. Basically what that means is that it kills. And it kills ticks, gnats, mites, mosquitoes, black flies, and so on. And supposedly it has no harmful side effects for humans or animals after it dries. And that's the key phrase right there after it dries. Now when it comes to permethrin, you can find this in all sorts of different forms. Aerosol, hand spray, you could find lotions and whatnot. Now these are the two main ones that I use. I prefer the hand spray over the aerosol, even though the aerosol is easier. The only thing is, is that these spray nozzles have a tendency to like gunk up, so it can become a mess. I've already started using this, so I will continue to use this for this episode. Anyways, there are multiple companies who make permethrin. Sawyer is one of the biggest. And this is an 18 ounce can and this runs around 15 bucks online. Now you can buy this in large quantities and you can dilute it yourself. I like it where it's been diluted, it's ready to go. It makes things nice and easy. As I mentioned, there are other companies out there who make permethrin, but I've always used Sawyer. It's worked well for me and because of that, I haven't switched. When it comes time to treat your clothing, I recommend that you do this outside in a well-ventilated area. You do not want to breathe this stuff in. Yes, they say it's safe when it dries, but until then, consider it toxic. What I like to do is to string up a line or maybe even use a fence post, and I hang up my clothing. My personal preference is to treat just about everything that I wear with the exception of my underwear. Pants, shirts, I could treat my hat, socks, and also my shoes. Today the wind is blowing this way, so I will stand here, spray and treat, flip it over, spray and treat. With permethrin, you can put this on your clothing while you're wearing it, but I don't recommend that. Again, you're not meant to put this on your skin. It is meant to be put onto your clothing and your gear only. Then it dries and then you're good to go. So you spray about six, eight inches away, do it lightly, just go over it. I have found that you do not have to soak your clothing. Some people will, I do not. I just do a good spray and that's it. And it's always worked well for me. Specific areas of your clothing, I will focus more so on than anything else. For an example, like the cuffs around your foot or on your shirt. Those are entry points for ticks. So make sure to hit those areas especially hard. With permethrin, it bonds to whatever it is sprayed upon. It is odorless and also colorless. If you plan to treat your hat, treat the outside, not the inside. So now I'm just flipping everything over, spraying the sides that I missed. And here in a second, I'll be done. The same philosophy applies to your shoes as it would with your hat. Spray the outsides, not the inside. Once you've treated your clothing with this and let it air dry, I recommend that you put on those articles of clothing and go out for a hike. That way you can make sure that you don't have some sort of allergic reaction to this stuff. Personally, I've never heard of anybody having a reaction, but anything is possible. So err on the side of caution, that's my best advice. Now, when it comes to your gear, it is said that you can spray this on just about anything and it will not cause any issues. And in fact, I've never had any issues either, but I do recommend that you do a test spot first. So if you wanna spray this on your tent body, spray one little corner, let it dry, just to make sure that it doesn't discolor anything. Otherwise, you could spray this on your backpack, you could spray this on the tent body, 
a ground sheet, and so on. And I can tell you folks that it works very, very well when you do that. The next thing that I will do is treat my skin. I usually use Off that features D at least 25%. Let's see, what is this one? Yeah, this is 25%. I have a product here from Benz, but I have not used this yet. I just got it in just to try it out. Treat all of your exposed skin, put some around your neck, just in case you have a tick on your backpack or whatever, or maybe you rub a plant, a bush, a weed, or something like that. You do not want to get a tick crawling up underneath your hair. That does happen and you can get bit that way. If you're wearing pants and you've treated your socks with permethrin, I would still recommend that you use a little bit of DEET and spray this around your ankles right above the socks. Just in case your permethrin treatment is a little bit old and not quite as effective and that will stop ticks from going up your shoes, up your socks, and going up your leg. Now, together with this system, I have found that this works incredibly well and in fact, I've had very few issues when it comes to ticks. Take the time, be proactive, treat your clothing, treat your skin, treat your gear, and you will be good to go. Now, it should be mentioned with permethrin. This will last roughly four to six washings in cold water. If you treat your clothing, I do not recommend that you wash it in hot water. With hot water washings, more than likely, it will take it out faster. When it comes to DEET, I do not recommend that you spray this stuff on your gear, especially 100% DEET. This stuff can basically eat plastic. So be very, very careful. Talking about ticks briefly for a second, I do have a video on ticks, which is very in-depth. I recommend that you watch it. Here are a few things to keep in mind. First off, ticks do not jump, they latch on. I've had people tell me that ticks jump on you. That's not true. I have no idea what bug they're talking about, but it's not a tick. Ticks are opportunistic insects. They latch onto you when you walk by, either by rubbing a plant, a bush, a leaf, a stick and so on. They can vary in sizes and they could have all sorts of diseases that you do not want. Lyme disease is the one that you hear the most about. And trust me folks, you do not want it. I've spoken to so many viewers who have it and trust me, you do not want it. It is because of these reasons and so many others that you need to be proactive. Treat your clothing, treat your skin, treat your shoes. If you come into a campsite that has a lot of leaves on the ground, rake those up. Ticks love leaves, they love debris, so be careful. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you personally do to stay tick free in the outdoors? This combo right here has worked for me for a very long time and I highly recommend it. If you have a question for me, email me. Until next time everyone, take care, strength and honor, be safe.